Satan and all his spirit counselors held a great general council with one purpose in mind. It was to prepare for the great industrial age that was soon to break upon the world. And uh, Lucifer also foresaw another age that was to follow that, where tremendous scientific discoveries would be made by people, and we would enter an, a unique age that would change the way that everybody lives. It would also serve to usher in the end times and the close of the great controversy between the forces of good and evil. And the priest said that, that Lucifer had been studying the Bible. And he found in, the, in Daniel 12.4, where we are told about the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, knowledge shall be in increased. Mm -hmm. He understood it to be that we're getting to that point. And he had, with all the spirit counselors, to change their modes of operation in order, in order to ensnare people. Mm -hmm. And uh, he devised a way whereby people would disqualify themselves from being members of Christ's kingdom. And he was just very candid about this. Oh, yeah. Telling mm -hmm. you and yeah. the rest of the group, 60 or 70 people there, yeah. the plans that yeah, was not people. Lucifer he, had revealed to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time the council came to a close, they had uh, three major policies that were going to be followed. First, they were to see to it that humans would be made to believe that Satan and his angels do not really exist. Because see, up to that time, you could walk down a, a street of Paris and you would have signs that would, that would say where well, you have a, a soothsayer or, you know, or a, a fortune teller of some type and, and if you want to put a, a curse on someone, you could go and see this other old lady over there, you know, the, the old witch, that's the way it goes. Uh, but now it had, it had to change. Lucifer says, we have to make sure that people, humans, get to believe that, uh, that Lu Satan and his angels do not really exist. You know, Roger, that's interesting because a recent research study report that I read indicated that in a national survey, I believe it's over 75% of people mm -hmm. do not really believe in a real tangible devil. Mm -hmm. But there is one. Oh, yeah. Now, the next thing, that the, the, the three parts policy that they had uh, adopted there, the second one was to find a way of being able to get total control of people's minds. And that would be done by taking hypnotism out of the realm of the occult and introduce it as a new science for the benefit of mankind. They felt that uh, by taking hypnotism out of the realm of the occult and introducing it as a new science for the benefit of mankind, they could then use people of great renown, educators, people of capacity. Now this would be a way of of uh, Dechristianizing the Western world through the avenue of mysticism. Now the time came when uh, Lucifer decided that he had to choose a person to initiate this thing. And uh, Franz Mesmer, which was an Austrian physician, was chosen. Because and the priest told you all of this. Oh yeah. Okay. Because he was most capable. Uh, <clears throat> Mesmer originated a theory called animal magnetism, later on, later on named mesmerism. Mesmer was led by the spirits to believe, and this is what a priest said, was led by the spirits to believe that certain persons have a magnetic influence within themselves, so to speak, that would cause them to have great power over, over other persons, even to the point of placing them into a trance. And uh, at that time, that was readily accepted by people in general, at the, at the time that uh, Mesmer lived. So people realized, you know, this is, this some people have got the capacity to put you into a trance. That's the way. Now, by the time that he died, in 1815, a lot of the physicians in Europe we're using hypnotism as a means of anesthesia. Now, hypnotism is the same as mesmerism? That's right. Okay. So, mesmerism is, that's been uh, uh, developed to a higher degree of uh, refinement. And uh, <clears throat> the priest went on saying that he, the plan of Satan, uh, to um, deceive the human family this way, 
he says it's the most intriguing thing to his mind. And he went on saying how it was going to be brought about. He said that a fellow by the name of uh, Darwin and uh, another fellow by the name of uh, Thomas Henry Huxley would be used by the spirits.